If you have clicked on the video, you are probably aware of the environmental challenges posed by conventional concrete. We all know that concrete production significantly impacts our planet's sustainability, but what if there were more eco-friendly alternatives? Among various solutions for making concrete more sustainable, one such alternative is biochar concrete, a promising option that could help reduce its environmental footprint while maintaining strength and durability. Let's learn how biochar concrete is gaining popularity in construction. What is biochar? Biochar is a type of charcoal produced after the thermal decomposition of organic waste, called pyrolysis. Pyrolysis involves heating organic materials like wood, agricultural waste, or biomass without the presence of oxygen. This process breaks down the material into three main products. One, gases. Two, liquids. Three, biochar. While the gases and liquids formed after the process are used for energy production, the solid byproduct, biochar, is what interests us when we talk about its use in concrete. Now that you have understood how biochar is produced, you will have to keep in mind that the production of biochar involves various methods and techniques of pyrolysis. Which method to choose is merely dependent on the type of biomass, moisture content, desired biochar properties, and available resources. How can biochar replace cement in concrete? Biochar, derived from the pyrolysis of biomass, is a carbon-rich material with the potential to substitute for cement and improve structural performance when used in optimal amounts. When we discover or invent a product that could replace cement in concrete, given cement's essential role, it is desirable that the alternative material exhibit superior performance in all aspects, including cost, sustainability, and strength. Biochar is considered as one such alternative because of the following reasons. 1. The structure of biochar exhibits excellent compatibility with the cement matrix. 2. Biochar addition modifies and improves the physical and chemical properties of the mix. 3. Biochar in concrete improves durability, sequesters carbon or carbon sequestration, and mitigates climatic change. Biochar was included for the first time as a promising negative emission technology, NET, in the new Intergovernmental Panel on Climatic Change, IPCC Special Report published on October 8, 2018. So, to truly understand why biochar is such a promising material for enhancing concrete, it's important to first explore its inherent properties. Let's take a closer look at the key properties of biochar that make it a game changer in concrete applications. As mentioned before, biochar is a carbon-rich material created by heating organic waste, like wood, crop residues, or even manure, in a low-oxygen environment. This process is called pyrolysis. Because there isn't enough oxygen, the material doesn't burn completely. Instead, it transforms into a highly stable form of carbon. Now, why is biochar special? Because of its unique structure and chemical properties, it can be used in agriculture, water filtration, and even concrete. Today, we're focusing on its role in concrete and how it affects the hydration process of cement. The microstructure of biochar. Now, imagine we zoom into biochar under a powerful microscope. What would we see? One, a highly porous structure. Biochar is full of tiny pores and channels. These pores come from the original cellular structure of the plant material it was made from. Two, a large surface area. Because of its porous nature, biochar has a huge surface area compared to its size. A tiny amount of biochar can have hundreds of square meters of surface area. Three, functional groups on its surface. Biochar contains hydroxyl, OH, and carboxyl, COH, groups. These chemical groups make biochar reactive with water and cement particles. Now, let's compare this with the microstructure of concrete to understand how they interact. The microstructure of concrete. Concrete is a composite material made of cement, water, sand, and aggregates. The key component that binds everything together is cement paste, which undergoes a hydration reaction when mixed with water. When cement hydrates, it forms 1. Calcium silicate hydrate, CSH. This is the most important product. It's what gives concrete its strength and durability. 
It forms tiny gel-like structures that fill the space between sand and aggregates, hardening over time. 2. Calcium hydroxide CH. This is a byproduct of hydration. It's not very strong, but it helps maintain the alkalinity of concrete. 3. Etringite and other hydration phases. These help with early stage setting and volume stability of concrete. However, Traditional concrete has some problems at the microstructural level. It has capillary pores, which allow water and chemicals to seep in, leading to cracks. It releases a lot of CO2 during cement production, making it environmentally harmful. Now, let's explore what happens when biochar is added to concrete. When biochar is mixed into concrete, it changes the hydration process in several ways. One, water absorption and internal curing. Because of its porous structure, biochar absorbs extra water from the concrete mix. But instead of just holding it, biochar slowly releases water back over time. This keeps the hydration process going for a longer period, reducing cracks and improving long-term strength. Think of it like a tiny reservoir inside the concrete, helping the material cure better from the inside. 2. Strength and Durability Enhancement The large surface area of biochar provides extra nucleation sites for CSH formation. This means more binding material is created, making the concrete stronger. The pores in biochar can trap harmful ions like chloride and sulfate, reducing corrosion in reinforced concrete. 3. Carbon Sequestration and CO2 Absorption Biochar traps carbon permanently, preventing it from returning to the atmosphere as CO2. Some studies show that biochar-enhanced concrete can absorb CO2 from the air during curing, making it even more environmentally friendly. 4. Workability and setting time Because biochar absorbs water, adding too much can make fresh concrete stiff and less workable. To fix this, the water content in the mix may need to be adjusted. In small amounts, biochar doesn't delay setting time significantly, but at higher doses, it can slow down the process. Let's compare traditional concrete with biochar concrete. Traditional concrete and biochar concrete differ in several key aspects. Traditional concrete has a dense structure with capillary pores, while biochar concrete is more porous but retains water, aiding curing. Strength in traditional concrete relies on CSH formation, whereas biochar enhances strength through its nucleation effect. Durability improves in biochar concrete due to internal curing, reducing shrinkage cracks. In terms of CO2 emissions, traditional concrete is high due to cement use, but biochar concrete lowers emissions by capturing carbon. Lastly, while traditional concrete has minimal water absorption, Biochar concrete absorbs more water, which helps in curing. So, what's really happening when biochar is added to concrete? At the microstructural level, it absorbs water, stores carbon, and provides extra binding sites for cement hydration. At the performance level, it improves strength, durability, and resistance to cracking. At the environmental level, it reduces CO2 emissions and makes concrete more sustainable. The key is getting the right balance. Too little biochar won't have much effect. Too much can reduce workability and require mix adjustments. But when used correctly, biochar has huge potential to make the construction industry greener and more durable. For more deep dives into sustainable building techniques, follow along. We've got plenty more coming your way.